After years of delays, reshoots, and interesting headlines about Ezra Miller, we finally have our first official trailer for The Flash. I am so excited to see the return of Michael Keaton. Also, if you live in Oregon or the Portland area, I will be at Fan Expo Portland next weekend. I'd love to see you there, and let's do this. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline. Another universe. So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not going to lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people different worlds drawn to each other like magnets. My face. You saw my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. This can't be happening. I completely broke the universe. Sad. We've been waiting for you. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? You are. Yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> if I can't undo what I did, if I can't get back, there might not be a future. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I I'm Barry. Well, we're Barry. <laughs> Barry, what are you doing? <laughs> Our kids are gonna wanna see this. <laughs> Alrighty. Real quick before I give you my thoughts on it, be sure to join me down below in the comment section. What did you think about our first official trailer for The Flash as well as all of the interesting stuff going on behind the scenes with this movie? I would love to hear your thoughts on all of it. You can check out my thoughts on all the previous DCU films in this playlist right up here with all of my ranking of the heroes, villains, the movies, all that fun stuff. I'm going to watch that one more time and then I'm going to start talking about it. Alrighty. To put my feelings on this trailer and this movie into perspective, you have to understand that one of the very first movies I remember seeing in the theater was Batman 89. And Batman 89 was the first movie I was ever excited about going to go see in the theater. Likewise, I remember when The Flash 1990, the TV show came out and we recorded the pilot episode. It was kind of a pilot movie over my mom's copy of Flash Dance. And so there's only two people at a Comic-Con I've ever gotten my picture taken with through the formal process. One of them is John Wesley Ship, the 1990s Flash. And so you have a Flash movie with Michael Keaton, Batman 89 in it. So naturally, that's one that's always kind of been on my radar. <laughs> and then Ezra Miller kind of turned out to be this nightmare for the PR department and I guess in general that causing all sorts of chaos that's made the backstory. It's kind of overshadowed all the things about this movie that are really exciting. Multiple flashes, multiple Batman, Supergirl showing up, epic stakes, time travel timelines, all that stuff is getting overshadowed by a person that's just running amok and seems unconcerned about any of it. Hopefully things are, are getting better. So now we have the trailer. What did I think about it? 
I love that trailer. Uh, it was exactly kind of what I hoped for. Of like, you know, I was excited for. I wasn't sure what the vibe was going to be and what kind of the direction was going to go. And just the idea of you broke the timeline. It's Flashpoint Paradox. It's an adaptation of that of sorts. And so, what does that look like for them? And they tie it back to Man of Steel. This idea of no meta humans. And so, you get the scope, the size, and why you're getting this kind of team up movie in it. That is, I that is very exciting to me. Very, very cool to me. I, I, it was like, I don't. I was already excited to check it out, and it came off much, much better than I was even hoping that it would be. And you get just enough kind of the quirky humor in there. You get the stakes. You get the emotional heart of it, and then you get just the fun fan servicey stuff. In just this trailer, we see two different actors playing Batman. You get Supergirl. You get the return of Michael Shannon in not just a small role as Zod, but clearly like the threat of the movie. Like on all the levels, it's firing. It's hitting for me. Other thing to throw in there. uh, You know, I know a guy that's really heavily involved in going to test screenings in Los Angeles. And I mean, he like saw... Batgirl, he's one of 10 people on the planet that's seen. Not even Brendan Fraser, who's in the movie, saw Batgirl. And this this person I know has. And so he kind of has the inside scoop on people's takes on it. Everyone that he's heard from that has seen a version of this film has said it's a ton of fun. It's a blast. It actually is really good. Ezra Miller, a nightmare. The movie itself... I, I looks like it's going to be really, really good. I love that trailer. So let me know what you thought about it down below. Check out my DCEU content over there. Remember, I will be in Portland this weekend leading two different panels. Information is down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.